so in this video today we are going to go over the Panasonic Plasma 6 blink code for Panasonic Plasma TVs that were made in 2011. We will now have a graphic that comes up on the screen that shows the model numbers from 2011 that this, uh, that this video will apply to. Just a reminder that if you have a question about your repair or your TV uh, problem, feel free to comment below this video. Uh, we appreciate when you subscribe and leave a comment with your question and we will respond as quickly as we can. Be sure to include your TV model number, the brand, and the symptoms that your TV is showing. That will help us to uh, best determine the fix for your TV repair and get the response back to you as quickly as possible. Just to go over a few boards here on the TV, over here we have the main board, also referred to as the A board. Here we have the SS board, also referred to as an X sustain or X main board on some TVs. Here we have the power supply board, which can also be referred to as the P board. Here we have the SC board, this can also be referred to as the Y sustain, Y sus, and Y main board for different brands. Here we have the buffers that connect to the SC board. These are also SU and SD boards and can be Y scan drives and different buffers for different brands as well. Now we will take a look at a video of what the six blink code looks like on the Panasonic Plasma TV. So if you're getting this six blink code, the first thing you'll want to do is check the connections between your A main board over here and the SC board over here and the C boards along the bottom here. You'll want to check all these connections to make sure that they are properly seated. There's one under here. Make sure that they're properly seated and connected tightly so that you can eliminate that as a possibility of a problem. Now next, with your TV unplugged, you'll want to disconnect the connection on the SC board here and SC20. We'll show a close-up of that now. You'll want to do the same on your C2 board on the bottom and disconnect C20. So you'll want to disconnect the ribbon cable at C20 on one of your C C boards on the bottom of the TV. So once you've disconnected the SC20 and C20 ribbon cables, next you will want to plug your TV back in and turn it on. So now we'll plug the TV back in. So after you've plugged in the TV, go ahead and hit the power button. If the TV stays on but still has a black screen, then you'll want to replace your SC board. If it does not stay on with a black screen, then you'll want to unplug the TV and we'll go into further diagnosis. Since the TV does not stay on with a black screen, we'll move ahead with further diagnosis. We'll want to reconnect our ribbon cables back to the SC board and the C board. But first, there could be a residual charge in this connection, so we'll undo the P35 connection after we've unplugged our TV before we connect the ribbon cables. So we'll go ahead and disconnect this. Now we'll go ahead and reconnect the ribbon cables here to the SC board and the C board. Now 
after we've connected the ribbon cables, then we'll go ahead and put this P35 connection back in. So at this point in the diagnosis process, you will need to begin to check voltages to determine the cause of the six blink code in your TV. There are two areas on the SC board that need to be checked for voltages. We will now have a graphic appear on the screen with a close up to show where the two voltages need to be checked. You'll want to check the positive side of the C561 capacitor on the graphic. The positive side of the capacitor is the side in which the arrow is pointing on the graphic. That capacitor should read at 5 volts. You'll also want to check location TP82 and that should read 15 volts. After measuring the voltages, if you do have 15 volts at TP82 and you have 5 volts on the positive side of the capacitor at C561, then you should replace the A main board. If you do not have those voltages, then you should replace the P board, the power supply board. Now before removing these boards or replacing them, you'll want to do a few things. You'll want to turn off your TV, unplug it from any power. You'll also want to make sure that you've grounded yourself properly so that you don't damage any of the boards or the TV. Then after that, you'll want to go ahead and remove these cables one by one from the board as we go around here. After you've removed all the cables, then you can undo the screws here with a screwdriver. Your board will simply come off and then you can replace it with a new board. Put the screws back in to secure it to the chassis. And then put the cables back together on your replacement board. Now you have replaced your board and you want to put the back cover back on the TV and turn on the TV to see if it is working properly. Again these are the following models that this video will work for. Please remember if you have a question to comment below the video in the comment section. Please include your TV model number, the symptoms that your TV is showing and any other details that you think will be necessary for us to identify a, repl a replacement part for you. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button 